Nothing gets me thinking more about the differences between men and women than French existentialism. So today, let's talk about germ cell and non-germ cell tumors. We have five possible tumors for germ cells. Cystic teratoma, embryonal carcinoma, dysgerminoma slash seminoma, endodermal sinus, and choriocarcinoma. Number one, teratoma. This is the most common germ cell tumor in females, and it's benign. However, it's malignant in males, and in males it might cause an increase in AFP or HCG. In females, it's basically a mixture of fetal tissues. 10% of them, of these tumors, are bilateral. But in females, this tumor can have a tumor, basically. And most often, it's going to be normal, neural. And that's an indication of malignancy for the female. Struma ovary is what you call it if it's mostly thyroid tissue. Number two, embryonal carcinoma. This is also derived from fetal tissue. You have malignant, large primitive cells, and it's aggressive with early metastasis. In males, this can also form glands, bleed, and it's quite painful. Uh, and it can have a high beta HCG and high alpha fetoprotein if it's mixed, which it usually is. Chemotherapy can actually cause it to switch to another type of tumor, which would cause the high F AFP. Number three, dysgerminoma for females, seminoma for males. This is the most common malignant tumor for females, and it's the most commonly seen in teens. This is the most common germ cell tumor for males overall. For both male, men and women, they look like fried eggs with large cells, clear watery cytoplasm, and central nuclei. They look like either oocytes or spermatogonia, respectively. You might see an increase in beta HCG, and in females, LDH will serve as a tumor marker. And in both, it responds really well to radiotherapy. Number four, endodermal sinus. This tumor is derived from yolk sac. It's most common in children, especially boys under the age of three. It's aggressive and malignant, and you'll see a yellow, friable, hemorrhagic solid mass. Half of people have Schiller Duval bodies, which look like tiny little glomeruli. Now, high AFP you will consistently see and should associate with endodermal sinus tumor. Number five, choriocarcinoma you'll see disorganized cytotrophoblasts and citrotrophoblastic tissue, but without any villi. Like you would in a normal placenta, this is cancer, so no villi. You'll see small hemorrhagic tumors, and here you will see a high beta HCG. This is consistent, and you should associate it with choriocarcinoma. Now, the high beta HCG can cause problems because there's an alpha subunit which looks like the alpha subunit in FSH, LH, or TSH. So this can actually cause hyperthyroidism and gynecomastia. In the female, it can also cause thecal cysts. And this tumor generally has a poor response to chemotherapy. A general note is that in males, we usually see it in younger patients. And our risk factors are cryptocortism and Klinefelter symptom. And remember that the tumors will not transilluminate. Now on to non-germ cell stromal tumors. Both males and females can have sertoli lytic tumors. Sertoli cells form tubules and are clinically silent in males. Lytic cells form androgens and testosterone and stuff, and these are associated with eosinophilic Reinke crystals. Lytic tumors are golden brown, and since they produce androgens, they can cause hirsutism and virilization in women and gynecomastia and precocious puberty in men. Now, women can also have granulosa theca tumor, which is a malignant tumor but with little metastatic potential. Now, this tumor often produces estrogen and it can cause precocious puberty in females. Uh, if puberty has already happened, we can, it can cause menorrhagia. 
And if the woman has already hit menopause, which is the most common scenario for this tumor, we'll see endometrial hyperplasia with bleeding. Also in females, we can see fibromas, which are benign tumor of fibroblasts. This is associated with something called Meigs syndrome, which is the addition of pleural effusion and ascites that will resolve upon tumor removal. And that's all, folks. Mm -hmm.